Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and welcome back to the series where I try a whole bunch of new vegan food in a month and I let you know whether it's worth getting or not. Today's video is for the month of, uh, today's video is for the month of July. It's pretty straightforward. Over the course of the month, whenever I try something new, I record it for you guys and I let you know what's up. So without further ado, let's head straight into the video. I don't have high hopes, but I'm down. Today we're trying tuna style flakes in water from Unmeat. If this is exciting to you, I also bought a spam that they make. So we get to try two weird slash interesting things from this brand. I have not yet eaten vegan tuna that was even close. Um, Good Catch is okay, but I wouldn't call it tuna. I mean like you can make yummy dishes with it, but it doesn't taste like tuna. So. I'm down to try this, uh, two servings in the container. It is very high protein, 60 calories per serving and nine grams of protein per serving. So like one can of this is 18 grams of protein, which like, if it tastes okay, like I would do that. Oh, it, hmm, it looks like, hmm, it looks tuna-esque, I guess. Uh, it looks like if tuna looked a little bit like bread, cheers. Okay, I have thoughts. The first one is, I would get this again. Um, not because it tastes a lot like tuna, but because it probably gives me the most tuna vibes out of any other vegan tuna I've had. It has a little bit of a fishy, fishy vibe. But the whole like can experience and that saltiness Maybe like a little fishy. It does is a little fishy. I think this is pretty great, actually. You know, I was prepared to be grossed out, but I am gonna throw this in a bowl with some avocado and sriracha and rice. I think this also would make really good tuna salad for a tuna salad sandwich. So like, does it taste like tuna? Not really. But I would use this for tuna things and thoroughly enjoy it. So. Thumbs up, I, I like it. So we're taste testing something I found in my parents' freezer. It's been there for a while, so it's a little bit freezer burnt, um, so keep that in mind. But this is the Alpha Plant-Based Breakfast Sandwich, the meatless spicy chorizo egg and cheese one, this one right here. Now what it doesn't have going for it is it was freezer burnt, and because of that, one of the, uh, the English muffin sides broke into a bunch of pieces. Um, what it does have going for it is I disassembled it and toasted the breads and cooked the middle parts in a frying pan. So it's not soggy like it would be if I made it in a microwave. I have a feeling it will be dry because of the freezer burning. So I brought ketchup. But we have to try it without ketchup first. So this is an English muffin with egg cheese and chorizo sausage. The cheese doesn't look great, not gonna lie. You know, for spicy chorizo, that's what I said, right? Yeah, I'd expect it to be more flavorful. It's a little spicy, four out of 10 spicy, but it's not that flavorful. It just kind of tastes like spicy tomato -iness. I don't know, the cheese isn't really pulling its weight and my camera's dying, so I will just say it's okay. I'd get different flavor maybe next time, bye. Hey, I wasn't planning on reviewing this today, but Roberta brought it home, so I figured why not just shoot a little clip, a little taste test. I know these have been out for a while, but these are the Impossible Sausages. This is the spicy one. I'm a fan of the Beyond. I'm a fan of the Light Life. Like these style sausages, the ones that look like kind of meat-like, they're generally pretty good. I will say one thing, like the casing on these is like extra condomy like with the beyond one i guess like the casing stays on it more and this one it was just kind of like peeling apart as i chopped it up because i wanted to uh cook it in pieces for pizza topping you could tell kind of like this is a cooked piece you could tell kind of like the casing is coming off and when it's not cooked it's real condom textured i don't know how to whatever anyway it smells delicious though and i'm pretty sure it's gonna be great especially now that the like casing is like harder or whatever. Anyway, we're just gonna give it a little taste test. It doesn't taste like the Beyond. It's not that spicy. Only barely, a little bit. It's pretty salty, but then I think the other ones are too. And I would say it's pretty good, 
but I might like the Beyond and Light Life ones better. Nothing wrong with this one. I would get it again and I would use it and it's good, but maybe I like it slightly less than the Light Life and Beyond because I like the Light Life and Beyond ones a lot. Oh, it was $13. That's expensive. I don't know how much the Beyond one is. I think it's less than $13 though. Anyway, so yes, I would get it again. Oops, but it's not my favorite version of like the meaty, mushy sausage version of sausages. Does that make sense? Because like vegan sausages has like the hard seitan and the mushy to cooked kind. This is like the mushy to cooked kind. And while it's good, it's my least favorite in that genre currently. I hope that made sense. Bye. First of all, don't ask me why I've been preferring to shoot on the floor of my kitchen with my fridge as a backdrop instead of my beautiful little plant room that's like literally right there and it's full of plants and it's all like cute and white and shit. But it's just more comfy for me here. And so this is what I'm doing. Today we're trying something really interesting. We are trying Spam. Now, I've had the Omni Lunch and um, Omni Pork Spam, but it looks way different from this one. This is the Unmeat Spam. And if you remember, I recently tried the Unmeat Tuna. And since then, since I've tried it, I've become a big fan of the Unmeat Tuna. It's my favorite vegan tuna, okay? The Unmeat Spam Luncheon Meat Uncooked looks like this. And I have to be completely honest with you, it does smell like meatloafy dog food, okay? But, I mean, that's what kind of like what meaty products smell like. So I'm not like really turned off by that. It's just interesting. Cooked up two slices and they look like this. So we're gonna try them together. It kind of looks speckledy. I don't know why it looks speckledy. I do have one gripe before we even get started, and that is that this is pretty low protein for a meat. Uh, the tuna they do is super high protein, and I really like that. But this one only has five grams of protein per 130 calories, which is not a lot of protein. This thing is mostly fat, which is fine, but I don't know, I expected more protein in this. Either way, we gonna taste test it, and if it's good, I'm gonna make some yummy like breakfast sandwiches with it or something. This is such an interesting texture. This is like gelatinous ham. It tastes like ham if ham was more like jello. And this might make it sound like I don't like it, but I like it. <laughs> hey babe, come here. Gelatinous ham? You'll see what I, I mean heard, when- I heard you say that and I had a, f uh, a face of disgust. It smells kind of hammy. Yeah. <laughs> so the flavor, fantastic. The texture, weird but enjoyable. I just wish it was higher protein. I like it, that's all, bye. Hey, I recently got a little box of snacks from the Netherlands and I'll do a whole unboxing later, but I, I just received it today and Roberto really wants to eat these cookies that are in it, so I told him we can't eat it until we review it. So we're going to pre-review these cookies before I unbox the box. And here they are. Now, they did break in the mail. They're the biggest cookies I've ever seen. Look how big they are. Now this here says broken, but I don't think they're supposed to come broken. I think broken refers to these little cracks in the cookies, but then the post made it literally broken, which isn't the cookie's fault. It's a rough ride from the Netherlands to New York City. It says, speculas broken. Uh, also, thank you very much for sending this and the whole box. I will, again, do a whole unboxing in a little bit when I have more time. So, come babe. It manifested itself to be broken like that. That's what I believe. Oh, wait, okay, okay, okay. Last month I received the box and in it were these gingerbread kind of like soft cookie things with icing and they smelt exactly like this. When I saw them I thought gingerbread. It's kind of like gingerbread. Like gingerbread. Would you like a piece of the broken? Gingerbread lighthouse. Cheers. Cheers. It's good. It tastes like lightly spiced gingerbread cookies. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good, I like it. Here you go. I would say more, but my mouth is blown. But it is good. Would get again. Also, why are they so massive? I wanna know this. If you're from the Netherlands or anyone who sells, or any place that sells cookies this big, 
literally the size of my head. Like literally, here, babe, you have a smaller head. Do you have a smaller head? Do we have the same size head, maybe? Maybe you have the same size head. <laughs> his looks a little bigger right now because his hair is bigger. Same size. Yeah, you got a noggin on you. I do. So let me know, why are the cookies this massive? Thank you. Bye. Hey, I just spent so much time sewing a curtain out of this fabric for my camper. Like so much time, like six hours, and I only sewed one of them because my sewing machine is broken and I did it all by hand and my fingers feel raw. But that's beside the point. The point is, I got sent, oop, get off. I got sent these protein raisin bagels to try. And this brand is nuts. One of these bagels is 160 calories and 25 grams of protein, which is like, how does the math even math at that point? Like, how do they do that? I have no idea. But um, that being said, we're gonna taste test it. We have one with tofuti cream cheese and one plain, you know, a control. So let's do it. Oh, this is raisin. Did I say this is raisin bagel flavored? I'm delirious. Wait, it's not raisin bagel. It's cinnamon. It's cinnamon. It's not as sweet as it smells. It smells like sweet. But it kind of tastes like whole wheat bagel, honestly. All right. Let's try it with stuff on it. Definitely better with stuff on it. You don't get a lot of cinnamon. It's not very sweet. I'm still a fan of these bagels. I'll put it together so it's not so dry. I'm still a fan of these bagels for the macros because that is insane. I would just buy the plain flavor because you don't get much cinnamon flavor. It just kind of tastes like a whole wheat bagel. Um, so good, but I like the plain flavor better. Bye. One of the worst things I ever tried on this channel was something called Catalina Crunch cereal. It's like a sugar-free keto vegan cereal and it was one of the nastiest things I've ever had to eat. It was so bad. So when I was at the grocery store today, I saw that Catalina Crunch came out with like Oreo cookies and I had to try it. So I got it. It looks like this. Each two cookies have four grams of protein, which isn't like a lot or anything, but two whole cookies only has two grams of added sugar, which is crazy if you're watching your sugar, right? All right, two Oreos has 9.3 grams of sugar. So this is a lot less. It looks kind of like an Oreo. And Roberto had one, and he said it wasn't bad. Which we're shocked, because he also thought that the cereal was one of the worst things in the world. Cheers. Wait, it's not good, but it tastes kind of like cake. It tastes kind of like a diet cake. A crunchy diet cake. It tastes like dry cake. But oh my god, it, it, it does. It tastes like cake you left out that got dry and the frosting got dry with a slight artificial sweetener aftertaste. So like, you know, not disgusting, I guess. I've eaten dry cake. It's not delicious. That being said, if I had to watch my sugar, I'd eat it. So it's one of those like, I'd eat it if I was in a dietary restriction for some reason, but I wouldn't eat it for funsies. Um, but also, not disgusting. We should try the cereal again. Anyway, those are my thoughts, bye. Hey guys, I was in the supermarket like yesterday and I saw this. I didn't even know this existed. I was not looking for this. I was not looking for field roast, chow, plant-based, queso, cantina style dip, but it is what I found. And let me tell you, when you open it, there's a thing that says to microwave. And yes, you want to heat it up because before you heat it up, it's, oh, <laughs> oh it looks like, it looks kind of like a butthole. But anyway, um, it's like a gelatinous, wow, mass, okay? But then when you heat it up, it's like liquidy. So I microwaved, I microwaved some, and we're gonna try it, okay? Melted, wow, look how good it looks melted. It looks not great cold. Cheers, this reminds me of like movie theater nacho cheese. Okay, it tastes vegan. It tastes vegan, but it's not bad. I would put it like on top of nachos with a bunch of other things, but I don't know if it's like a standalone dip. I don't know if it's that stellar or anything, but if I was putting a bunch of toppings on some nachos, 
I think this would be a great addition, if you know what I mean. So like, great creamy side character, not so much main character energy. You feel me? That's the verdict. Goodbye. Is it nature's fund or nature's find? I'm not sure, but I should figure it out because I got both their cream cheese and their breakfast sausages and we'll be trying both of them, if not this in this video, then in this video slash the next video. This is the cream cheese. The main ingredient is dairy-free milk. Oh my gosh, I totally, totally didn't know that they use the dairy-free milk. This is crazy. So this is milk, but made with mushrooms, made from mushrooms, water, nutritional fungi protein, dairy-free, vegan, nut-free, soy-free. So I'm gonna be trying this on a bagel. This is not like a legit New York bagel. This is like a Whole Foods bagel, but it'll do for now. Mmm, I like that. It has a slight, Hmm. In terms of like proximity, proximity to cream cheese-ness, it's probably the closest to real cream cheese. I like it. It's a little buttery, a little tangy. It's yummy. Okay, that's all. Bye. Now, I have yet to figure out whether it's nature's fund or nature's find, but I do have another product from them, and this is the breakfast sausage. The main ingredient is... Uh, fungi protein so like mushroom protein um, and that sets it apart from a lot of the other you know mock meats out there not a lot of brands use this a lot of brands do like soy or gluten this also has a little bit of soy in it and seasonings and stuff so mushroom soy seasonings and stuff it's two patties for 120 calories 11 grams of protein so it's pretty high protein and it smells like a breakfast sausage so let's give it a try This legit tastes like a diner breakfast sausage. Like the links, like the skinny ones, like the small ones. Like when you get scrambled eggs, hash browns, sausages, and toast at a diner. Like those little tiny sausages on the side, you know what I'm talking about? Like the little ones, like very nostalgic flavor. I'm a fan. The texture is like a little different than traditional sausage. Like slightly shreddier. I don't know if that makes sense, but still good, so. Very good. So far, I've only tried two things from this brand and both have been repeat purchases. Like I would get it again. I literally just ate a bagel with their cream cheese like an hour ago. Good job. We're ending this video with a package. The package I referenced earlier when we tried those cookies. And this package was sent to me by Vegan Big Sister on Instagram, so go check her out. First off, thank you so much. I absolutely love receiving snack packages, especially with things that I can't find in the US. So every time I get one of these, I'm so pumped. Let's do a little unboxing. These snacks came in from the Netherlands. I did open it and we did see those cookies before, but I haven't really dug inside, so we're looking through this together. I'm just gonna grab what is on top. Ribble Rock, paprika, extra crunchy flavor, crocky. So we're starting out with some, I'm assuming potato chips, paprika flavor. Then this looks like, like, like little coffee cookies, like little, little tea cookies. I can't, um, it says Verkade since 1886. That's a very old company. May, wait, is there coffee in the cookie? Cause like, does this say like made with, wait, what? does this say made with 100% like, Arabian coffee? Wait, is there coffee in the cookie? I thought these are just cookies you eat with coffee. I don't know. Up next, seems like another coffee little cookie. I'm assuming this is coconut flavored because there's a little bit of coconut. Wait, is this the same? Oh, it's the same brand. Maybe it's a coffee cookie brand? I've never heard of this brand. It says Ver. Cade Vercade Originals. Biscuits. Then we have what I think are pretzels. Oven baked pretzels. I don't know if these are different than regular pretzels, but they look very similar to pretzels I've had in the US. Okay, 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 I've had this brand before. 
You guys, okay, so when I was upstate like two months ago, I found like bars of this brand. Um, like I was thinking it was like a dark one and then like a like a cookie one, but this is the hands-off brand. But this is like peanut M&Ms. Okay, this is exciting. I'm looking forward to this. We have gummies, like gummy strips, and I think they're sour. Mm, I can't tell what flavor it is, but I think this says made without gelatin or made with vegan gelatin. I have no idea. Is this strawberry flavored? I don't know, but I'll find out. Okay, it says Frutella Dummies, right? And she did leave me a note saying that some things would be like in small little bags because she couldn't put the whole box in due to weight restrictions. I'm really curious about these. Also, she did send me an email with like further details, but I think it's fun to just kind of like explore the food sometimes. I think this is like peach flavored. Are these like nerds? What is this? They look like, like if nerds were like shriveled. Wait, it's chewy. This is unexpected. I hope this isn't gum because I'm gonna try to swallow it. It's like if Starbursts came in small shriveled bits. And this tastes like peach pie, like peach tart. I like this a lot. Fruit sap. Is it just like dried up fruit sugar? Again, I hope this isn't gum because I will swallow it. Anywho, so we have three flavors of this. We have, I think raspberry, orange, and peach. Lastly, I have no idea what this is. I'm assuming it's spicy from the word hot. And is it like puffed rice bits with spicy seasoning? I see the word chili. I see chili extract on the back. So um, yeah, this is definitely a spicy, a spicy, crunchy, salty thing, I'm assuming. And that's it for the packaging. A lot of really interesting things to try. I'm so excited, especially for these. And also this, like, is it coffee? I don't know, but unfortunately for you, this is the last clip I'm shooting in this video, so you're gonna have to wait till next month for me to try all the things in this box. That is all I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. Also let me know if you agreed with my opinions or if you disagreed, and if you want me to look for anything specific to try for next month. Um, that's it for this video. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Stacey, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, LT, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, Dawn, Susan, Trudy, and Clark. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there. And and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!